you and I both know the insurance world is not an easy world. Mm -hmm. It is very stressful in a lot of ways. And it's not just for the agent, but also for their their, their teams, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to pricing. Like us, we took 42% rate increase in home insurance flat across the board. We have, we're, we're, we're taking our third one now in literally less than 12 months. We have clients that are going up 200, 300, 400%, 150%. And this is the marketplace we're in. And for us to still be producing based on what their knowledge is and how to sell a product, it bolds high rewards of what this program does for people. And if agents don't buy into this and agents don't look at this and really get serious about something to help them out, I can tell them firsthand, this has been the only way we've sold business this year is Vlad's class understanding how to use his language and, and to overcome these barriers because we would not be writing as much as we have without this class. I know for a fact we wouldn't. First things first, Shane, could you introduce yourself and give us a little bit of your insurance background? Uh, yes, I am Shane Reese. I've been an agent with Farmers for 25 years and I've, uh, I'm was fortunate enough to uh, be, I am a President's Council agent for farmers. Wonderful. Well, that is amazing. So as far as kind of the insurance sales, up, I mean, you've been doing this for a while now. You said yep. 25 years. How did you come across the One Call Close Masterclass? I ran into Vlad at a farmer's conference mm -hmm. and started talking to him. And he was um, looking at uh, starting his own insurance agency at some point. And and I said, hey, I really could use some help with this. Um, what you've done sounds amazing. And in small town America, small town agents like myself, we need to figure out ways to to get better at the sales technique and, and provide an opportunity for our staff to be able to sell. And he said, sure, I'll send you a link, did it and put my staff through it. And then it's been it's been really, really good. It's really helped us out this year. Wow, wonderful. And I mean, you know, like I said, 25 years, you learned about this training, talked to Vlad. Did you try out any other sort of sales training programs before you started the One Call Close Masterclass? Oh yeah, we've tried several. And, wow. and unfortunately, it's never, it's never came to anything that, that it's been really super productive mm -hmm. um, until Vlad explains how to get people to say yes. And in tough times right now, we all as insurance people, we understand with with what's going on with rates and fire line, especially um, it's very, very difficult, especially where I'm at. And with this training, it, it you know, it, and really understanding how to use it mm -hmm. and make people say yes to your price, no matter really what the what their concerns may be or, or whatever uh, the pricing is. Mm -hmm. It has helped us tenfold and literally has made us relevant this year. Because without it, I don't think we would be we'd be selling what we're selling in this really bad market that we're in right now uh, in my geographic area. Wow. I mean, you say selling what you're selling right now. What were you like numbers wise looking at? I mean, I believe you were on the platform for six months now. What was that looking like before you decided to get on the one called Close Masterclass? So last year we wrote the most insurance any farmer's agent has ever written in our state premium wise. We were over $1.5 million. Now you understand I live in a town of 40,000 people. Mm -hmm. My entire state's 1 million people. And this year with the introduction of Fireline in the West uh, part of, of where I live in the mountains in Montana, we had declines over $400,000 in declines within the first six months of because of Fireline. We are on pace to write over a million dollars again this year. How we're doing it is is Vlad's class. What he's what his training has done in helping overcome the hurdles of people saying no, and getting them back on track to pre, not a price product but a comprehensive product. And yeah, so we're right now we're on pace to do a, a million dollars, which I didn't think we would do based on what's going on in the market right now with Fireline. No, absolutely. And a lot of people are really struggling with prices right now. And I feel like that's a really hard concept for them to grasp is, you know, building that value versus the actual price itself. Um, as far as, you know, kind of going through the training, seems like you have a pretty solid team um, going and, you know, working right yeah. now. How did you guys initially go through the training, practicing, morning huddle? What does that kind of look like for you guys? So basically what we did is we made everybody go through the training class. And then we also then we started doing uh, the one on ones with mm -hmm my producers would talk they would either 
pre-sell or try to sell to another another producer or another staff person mm -hmm. to really get the script down where mm -hmm. it was fluid where they didn't have to be reading it they could just just react and, yeah. and anytime that you're in a sales um type atmosphere it has to be natural mm -hmm. you have to have a natural talk and a natural flow and not a scripty sound because in my area if they sound a scripty sound they're going to get ready they're they're going to hang up they're going to be gone mm -hmm. it needs to be natural and with how vlad trains this and teaches this and then the one-on-one -on -one sessions with the, my staff did back and forth and my staff is uh, is very competitive mm -hmm. um they they literally every day what did you write how much did you write who, you know who has the most production and this class literally is has also helped that because now it's hey we're in a race to see who can be the best each day and it's helped us out tenfold and and i am grateful that i that i met vlad and that i became a part of this program that he that he started it's yeah. it's amazing yeah i mean i think it's definitely your buy-in is one thing but to see your team as bought in as you that must make you feel absolutely great as an agency owner um as far as you know like you said the attitudes of everyone everyone seems more confident are you listening to their phone calls do they sound like you know they're really understanding everything and oh, yeah. has there been an improvement with that as well oh yeah it, it's it's the level it, it's funny to, to watch your, mm -hmm. your staff grow um because we have people that have never been in the insurance business that work in here that produce wow. for us and right now my staff out produces individually out produces some agencies wow. in, in our area um they're that good and it, it to watch them progress and understand especially the sales techniques and, mm -hmm. and how to respond and react to negativity because you and i both know we live in a world of, of negativity yep um yeah. our world is is full of it right now mm -hmm. and it's actually quite depressing to be honest with you but to overcome those negativities and understand how to say it like one of my one of my staffers it, it, it's funny his name is Matthew it, and Matthew would get frustrated he'd get discouraged he'd be like dude why I couldn't sell this you know they they said this this and this and it was all about price now Matthew is is killing it he is bought into the program he's understands what to say and he is every day he's writing stuff on a daily basis because he now has the confidence based on this class Wow, that is crazy. The fact that, you know, I mean, everyone gets frustrated and everyone gets discouraged. That must have been amazing to see him grow from that point into, you know, writing business. And he probably feels better about himself and more confident, too. Oh, you, you should see him. I mean, every day he's got a smile on his face. He's excited. He's, what am I going to sell? Like, he, he literally, I just gave him a quote to do because I, I couldn't, obviously, I couldn't do it because mm -hmm. I was doing this with you. And he just walked in with a big smile and says, You need to come see me when you're done. You know, and just to watch these guys. And, and to watch their mentality because you and I both know the insurance world is not an easy world. Mm -hmm. It is very stressful in a lot of ways. And it's not just for the agent, but also for their their, their teams, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to pricing. Like us, we took 42% rate increase in home insurance flat across the board. We have, we're, we're, we're taking our third one now in literally less than 12 months. We have clients that are going up 200, 300, 400%, 150%. And this is the marketplace we're in and for us to still be producing based on what their knowledge is and how to sell a product it bolds high rewards of what this program does for people and if agents don't buy into this and agents don't look at this and really get serious about something to help them out i can tell them firsthand this has been the only way we've sold business this year is vlad's class understanding wow how to use his language and and to overcome these barriers because we would not be writing as much as we have without this class i know for a fact we wouldn't yeah yeah and definitely i mean it's i think it's fantastic that you have that mentality after seeing you know what you've been able to produce with your team when you first heard about the insurance sales app were you ever hesitant about getting oh, yeah. on board yeah, oh, yeah. What, were, was, what were some of the thoughts i was skeptical at first because listening to Vlad, i'm like man this guy's a salesman he is good you know mm -hmm. but will this really work? And I remember when he talked, I was in a group of people and, and lots of PC agents mm -hmm. that, that were sitting together and we we're sitting there talking and we we're all like, man, do you think this really is as good as he says it is? Mm -hmm. And we all questioned it. And pretty soon I, I, I was kept thinking about it. And then I, I talked to him mm -hmm. and I said, hey, listen, 
you've convinced me to try this program. And his words were, it's probably the best thing that's ever going to happen to your agency. If they follow the script and they do what needs to be done, I, it, you, it's, it's going to be a good thing for you guys. And I came back to the office because I'm one of these guys that, that I always challenge my staff. Mm -hmm. I make them read books. I make them, you know, do fun, challenging things together. We have, you know, uh, nights out where we take the staff out just for, or, you know, dinner and, and a game night or something mm -hmm. just to build you know, morality and, and excitement. And when I came in, I said, Hey, I need you guys to start taking the class. They all looked at me like, are you serious boss? We're really busy. And I said, I need you to do this because I think it will help us out. And I'll be the first one to, to do the program myself. I will go through it first. Then I'll let you guys, you know, so, you know, I'm doing it. And mm -hmm. then I want you guys to do it. As they started progressing, doing it, you could start hearing chatter within the office space. You know, they're all talking, hey, you know, I didn't think about using this language or I didn't think about saying, hey, what about this? Or, you know, mm -hmm. and it was funny just listening to them try to understand the mistakes they've been making in the past that now that they don't have to make now, they they now have the knowledge and the understanding of what they need to do. It's great. Wow. I mean, seeing, I think it's like seeing the wheels turn and they're oh, yeah. all connecting the dots, right? It's like, wow, this works. It's paying yeah. off. I mean, what would you say to someone who's maybe on the fence about getting this program? They don't know if it's going to work for them. What would you say to someone like that? I would tell them this. Mm -hmm. If you want to be successful in this business and, and you want to overcome hurdles and and not feel like every day is, is a misery or every mm -hmm. day is going to be denial, mm -hmm. you need to try this program. Are you still going to get denied by people? Yes. This isn't this isn't a guarantee. You everybody is going to say yeah. yes to you. It's not going to happen. We all know that. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. But if I can tell you that I can get sixty to seventy percent of those people that tell me no right off the bat, mm -hmm. within seconds they're saying yes and let's write the policy. That is reality. Yeah. And that's sixty to seventy percent. That that turns out to be a lot of premium, a mm -hmm. lot of policies, and an opportunity to sell even more products to their friends. Because now you've just overcome that hurdle. Now they're going to refer you to everybody. Yep. So take the chance. It's mm -hmm. well worth it. Uh, we honestly, our production this year of what we've produced would not be what it is today without this program because it is a tough, tough market and a lot of no's. Mm -hmm. Well, we've turned those no's into yeses. Wow, sold. Gosh, if I didn't want it now, I definitely want this program. Yeah, no, it's, I'm telling you, it's great. Yeah.